go. Uh, I need to go out and buy a new bathing suit if I'm going to go swimming this weekend at my friend's country place out in the Poconos. This old one doesn't fit anymore. I got too fat. I'll go shopping at Macy's later today, probably. Well, if you do go to Macy's, you know who you run into there, don't you? No, who? Valerie, my first wife. She practically haunts the place. Spends all her leisure time there. You're bound to see her. I don't know why she hangs out there. It's not that glamorous. Au contraire. Valerie would beg to differ. She thinks it's very girly girl. Macy's and the house of Patricia Fields. The house of Patricia Fields? I used to have my fingernails and makeup done by the drag queens working the cosmetic counters there. Again, I wouldn't guess that Valerie would hang out there. She loved the place, couldn't get enough of it, dragged me down there every Saturday afternoon just to stare at all that girly girl stuff on display. All those frills and bows and sequins and glitter. The haute couture featured in Sex in the City, worn by Carrie Bradshaw, played by Sarah Jessica Parker in the HBO series. Couldn't afford to buy anything too pricey, but she sure loved to window shop. That and dish with the drag queens. She thought they were so girly girl. Came back to bite me in the ass, though. The drag queens eventually ratted me out. I brought one of my girlfriends in there. You know her, Rivka. Rivka wanted me to buy her this steel chain mill ink handbag. One of a kind piece. Reduced from $500 to only $99 because the steel rings and the strap had come loose. So I whipped out my leather man, a thousand one uses, used the pliers to repair the rings, got a real bargain, a steal. Later, Valerie's name came up in the conversation. Somehow, I don't remember the context. I told Rivka that I ran into Valerie that week, and Rivka goes, where? Maybe at the house of Patricia Fields? Now, how did she know that? I had once again let ex-wife Valerie drag me in there. Rivka couldn't possibly have been there and seen me, then it hit me. Those bitchy little drag queens had ratted me out to Rivka. I seen your man, he was in here the other day, and he was with this other woman, and she was fierce, girlfriend. That's why Rivka had been so insistent that I buy her that chainmail handbag. She had to go one up on Valerie. Well, oh, well, maybe he was in here with her, but he buys me things in here. Later that same summer, I mentioned to Valerie that I had gone out gift shopping with the Jamaican receptionist at my employee health clinic to buy a present for a going away party for another co-worker, another registered nurse, who was leaving the federal health center for greener pastures. Are you fucking her? What? Who? Your receptionist. That's who. Are you fucking your receptionist? Of course I had. I was. I had Althea flat on her back on the clinic's examination table, her chubby brown legs up in the gynecology stirrup, servicing her during business hours when I was supposedly seeing my patients. Hey, wait a minute, dear. You already divorced me. You can't divorce me twice. And you have no rights nor privileges to ask me who I am presently fucking. This little conversation quickly ended that recent brief reinstatement of my conjugal rights with my ex-wife, Valerie. Again, it hit me. I had once again been ratted out by those bitchy little drag queen sales associates at the house of Patricia Fields. This time to my ex-wife, Valerie. The West Indian receptionist from my nurse's office, Althea and I, had recently returned from an all-expense-paid West Village dildo and vibrator shopping excursion, including a port of call at the house of Patricia Fields. I seen your man, he was in here just the other day with another woman and she was fierce, I mean a big... Bold black girl, baby, with huge titties and a great big black juicy booty, delicious booty on a girl. Hey, and they was all over each other, girl. Couldn't keep their hands to themselves, like two dogs in heat. Later, girlfriend. Never trust a drag queen. They're worse than gossipy old washerwomen. <laughs>